Welcome to Die Trying. Build something new. I'm Patrick Norton. I'm Michael Hayes. We're gonna bring you the most amazing confluence of aluminum, gas welding, and lemons today. But that failed horribly. Yes, yes it did. So instead, Arduinos. Yay! What's an Arduino? So we, uh, Arduino is a microcontroller that you can program to do tons, infinite, Things. It's a controller or a microcontroller. There's mm -hmm. there's like 32,000 variations of these from like basic pick stamp through Arduino. Some people use Raspberry Pis. Um, you know, I'm thinking like the cover of Make Magazine this month has like 300,000 yes. <laughs> different controllers inside of it. What, I mean, a controller controls things, duh, right? Yeah, exactly. So like I said, it's something that you can program to do a whole range of things. So in this case, we're gonna show off how to control high-powered mm -hmm. applications or do high-powered right. applications with this little low-powered Arduino. And what's crazy is by combining some kind of controller like the Arduino and some software you can probably download off of the internet, probably will have to download off the internet, mm -hmm. you can make things do things like automate a dorm room entertainment system or make sure some lights get turned on every time your garage is open or that a song plays every time your cat sits down in its bed. It's just, <laughs> it, the, the limit is your imagination. Exactly. Um, controller boards, you can pick up a Radio Shack now. You got yours off of? I got mine off of eBay, I think, okay. for like 12 bucks because it's cheap and they all seem to work in my experience. This is good. <laughs> so what's with the Flying Spaghetti Monster homage of wiring? Okay, so beyond the microcontroller, we also have this relay board, which is, this is an eight channel board, so that means that we can power eight different things <laughs> Well, we can, you can turn eight different things on or off. On or off. So, so a relay board is super old school in that it's just like a remote controlled right. switch that this is a physical switch that's switching on and off. There's a chance every time you turn the headlights on in your car, a relay is actually doing the switching. I mean, th these are basically, as far as electronics are concerned, this is stone age technology. Mm -hmm. So these are cool that it's looking for a five volt signal mm -hmm. and when it gets that five volt signal, it turns on. Yeah. Or it, and by turning on, I mean it closes the connection and then. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. It closes the loop. You send voltage in this end, it does magic, it closes the switch at this end. And it's like, I love reading the specs 10 amps, 250 volts, AC, 10 amps, 30 volts, DC. Um, that means 120 volts, 220 volts, as long as it's not higher than 10 amps, 30 volts, DC, as long as it's not higher than 10 amps. Anything up to that maximum. That's really awesome. That's a lot of juice to work with. Yeah. So the way I have this set up is that I have a ground going to the relay switch, mm -hmm. and then I have uh, pins two to nine here. Okay. That equals eight, right? I yeah, so. pins two to nine that those are controllable so that I can say, okay, send a signal, and then when it gets that signal, then it'll turn on. Hence the controller part of the Arduino, but there's more purple wires. Yeah, so this, I have it set up so that it has an external power supply. Okay. Because from what I understand with these big eight channel boards, the Arduino doesn't have enough power mm -hmm. or enough amperage to turn all right. of them on or off at a time. So I don't want to burn out my board, so I have this uh, external supply that will supply the power to actually right. uh, close the gates. Like one to four relays you found that you could supply off the board without yeah, burning it exactly. out. And then things got sketchy. Then, then I just was scared. What are we controlling and how are we controlling it? Is that where the software comes in? This is where the software okay. comes in. So right now we have um, some LED lamps uh, plugged in here. And that's a 12 volt load. This is 12 volts which is still way more than the Arduino can do. It can do five volts. And then we also have an AC application here. We have a fan plugged in here. Don't worry, this is safe, <laughs> not like last week. Hopefully. We think, <laughs> or the week before last week. So let's jump into the software and I'll show how this is actually connected. Cool. Or this is powered. First you need the actual Arduino software, uh, which is, you can find it at arduino.cc. It's downloads for, I think, Mac, right. Linux, everything. Uh, so Intel Galileo. Once you have that downloaded, you'll see you have this cool little software here. And the nice thing about Arduino especially is that smart people have figured out how to do whole lots of things already. Yay. So I found on this arduino-info.wikispaces.com, uh, someone already wrote code to control a relay. AKA Arduino power. Yes, so I have, I just straight copied and pasted this software into, or this code into our Arduino software here. I'm gonna say it because it's my job. Uh -huh. Is that legal, Michael? Uh, probably, they put it on the internet. <laughs> I don't know. It's generally accepted and cool. Okay. Just saying. 
So the way you actually send the code to the mm -hmm. Arduino is that you make sure you have it connected to your computer. Okay. So this is just has a USB cable. So first I'll compile the software and then I'll upload. So if you're getting errors here, you probably have to select uh, the port that you want to be on. Things are happening. So in this case, I have the USB, but it worked. And as you can see, <laughs> this code cycles through, it turns on right. um, all of the switches and then it turns them off. It doesn't have to cycle them. It's just what this particular application is doing. Yeah, so this is very basic on how you get an idea of what things in the code you actually need. Okay. And then from there, you can start playing with the code. So in this case, it's setting to be like a, a one second delay. Uh -huh. If we want to get crazy, we can set it to be like 40 milliseconds, which you when I... break my fan. So I just sent it, it'll take four seconds, and then, oh, awesome. <laughs> and the thing I love about the mechanical relays is you can hear them switching over. <laughs> So I'll just let this go for the, the rest of the episode. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> so that's a little annoying. So instead I have this code that I kind of expanded a little bit. It's definitely not the cleanest code ever, but I'm sorry, everyone. It works. <laughs> <laughs> so another cool thing you can do with Arduinos is that last application, you mm -hmm. could take this, it's all self-contained, it doesn't need right. to be connected to a computer, so you can just power the Arduino and it'll just cycle through that forever, right. <laughs> if you want. But so you can have a crazy light display, or you can use it to control like you know, neon light transformers or something. Yeah, but if you wanna have it so that it's listening for something, so now I brought in a serial port, so that the Arduino has a, a port that you can mm -hmm. send commands to and then doing that, it'll do whatever you set it to do. So I have it set up so that it's listening for different keys. Huh. So if I hit one, it'll turn on the first relay. And if I want to turn it back off, I hit one again. Wow. You're so switching physical universe things on and off of your computer. I don't know why I still find this incredibly <laughs> fascinating. So the serial port can be very, very useful if you want to send commands to your Arduino. And hey, while I'm still here, you should check out Audible. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash DIY and you'll get a free audiobook of your choice and you'll help support the show. Nice segue, huh? So part of the reason you got involved with the relays was so that you could do stuff. We're gonna do something kind of exciting in the new next few weeks with hard science again. Uh -huh. Uh, not controlling lights, but controlling something else. We'll, Screaming may be involved. We'll go more in depth with that, but I can show you a little like, just to finish this off, I have it set up so that I have a Python script here listening for numbers, so I could be like, bum, 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 light show. Ladies and gentlemen, would you like to learn how to make things, do things, and just learn how to get your DIY on? Please subscribe to Dietrion.com or YouTube.com slash Dietrion. I love how I threw to the fan, that was beautiful. At Dietrion on the Twitters, and rumor has it there may even be a place to hang out with us on Reddit. And if there is, you'll see it down below. And if you're on YouTube, please comment down below. I'm Patrick Norton. I'm Michael Hand. We'll see you next week on Dietrion. Break. <laughs> <laughs> what, did, what did that look like, Liz? <laughs> Ha 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 ha!